SpaceX is rushing to develop a two-stage Starship vehicle consisting of a super heavy rocket booster that propels the spacecraft to orbit. NASA announced via Twitter on December 21st that they recently visited SpaceX for a first-hand look at a prototype of the human lander that will ferry NASA Artemis astronauts to the lunar surface during Artemis 3. So for this episode, we'll find out if this visit is a positive foreshadowing that humankind's goal of returning to the moon is about to come true. But first, I wonder why NASA made that visit. Were they too impatient from the delay of the Artemis project? Eight months ago, back in April, NASA awarded SpaceX with the sole contract for the agency's human landing system program under a competitive process. Worth $2.9 billion, the SpaceX contract would see the company use its Starship rocket to deliver astronauts to the moon's surface for NASA's upcoming Artemis missions. Dissatisfied with this ruling, Blue Origin sued NASA and, by all means, wanted to win the contract back. As a consequence, NASA's work with SpaceX on the HLS contract was halted during the lawsuit. Thanks to the failure of Blue Origin's NASA Human Landing System lawsuit on November 4th, SpaceX and the agency were finally able to get back to work. Taking advantage of that, NASA astronauts and Artemis program leaders recently took a tour of SpaceX's South Texas Starship factory and launch pads, a massive hub of activity that the company has deemed Starbase. In doing so, safer updates from SpaceX and even members of the public over the last six to nine months, NASA officials were finally able to get up close and personal with the progress SpaceX has made while the agency was temporarily forced to halt all work on HLS. So, what do you think surprised them the most about this tour? Speaking of Starbase's launch site, Canadian Space Agency astronaut and pilot Joshua Kutrick shared an aerial photograph of the Starbase launch site. At the start of 2021, Starbase's lone orbital launch site was effectively a dirt lot and a fraction of the launch mount, the latter constructed well in advance of the rest of the pad. Less than a year later, a dramatic change is looming. That orbital launch site, including a skyscraper-sized launch tower, three massive arms, perhaps the most complex launch mount in spaceflight history, and the largest cryogenic tank farm ever built for a rocket is on the verge of completion. Flying in the skies above Boca Chica this morning with NASA astronaut Jasmine Mockbelly, dreaming of a future when ships full of humans may leave from this beach for Mars. Look closely and you can see a starship, he wrote in the tweet. As for the starship, is there anything remarkable about it? NASA Artemis has shared images of a prototype lunar lander as it first witnessed the giant monstrosity that can carry up to 100 passengers inside its pressurized cabin. As it's not manufactured for reuse, the lunar starship will not include fins and thermal protection, which are some of the differences from the SN20. After the visit, NASA Marshall also shared a booster image, as you can see here. This may be the first time we have seen such an impressive thing with intricate details in its engine compartment. The new year of 2022 will be crucial in terms of rocket ship development. The company aims to test dozens of Starship prototypes before launching cargo and crew to orbit in 2023. Right now though, SpaceX engineers are conducting pre-flight tests of the super heavy rocket prototype Booster 4 that will conduct the first flight test attempt early next year. B4 underwent a couple of proof tests this week. On December 17th, the stainless steel vehicle was filled with cryogenic liquid nitrogen during a pressurization test performed to assess the vehicle's structural integrity. Most recently, on December 22nd, they conducted another proof test to ensure the propellant tanks do not have any leaks and can withstand the high pressure it would experience during the upcoming orbital flight test, pictured here. After SpaceX completes assessing the vehicle's overall structure, engineers will conduct a static fire test of the 29 methane-fueled Raptor engines, 
For the first orbital flight attempt, B-4 will propel the six-engine Starship SN-20 test vehicle to orbit and attempt an ocean landing in the Gulf of Mexico, while SN-20 continues a flight across Earth to re-enter the atmosphere and land in the ocean off the coast of Kauai, Hawaii. To help pave the way for the next lunar missions, nine women and nine men were selected to usher in the next era in space exploration. Now without further ado, let's meet the Artemis team. The nine women are Kayla Barron, Jessica Watkins, Christina H. Koch, Stephanie Wilson, Anne McLean, Nicole A. Mann, Jessica Muir, Jasmine McBelly, and Kate Rubens. As for the nine men, we have Raja Chari, Victor Glover, Kiel Lindgren, Joseph Acaba, Matthew Dominic, Warren Hoberg, Johnny Kim, Frank Rubio, and Scott Tingle. Now they're returning to the moon under the Artemis program to learn to live and work on another world for the benefit of humanity. In the coming year, NASA plans to launch the SLS moon rocket and Elon Musk's SpaceX hopes to fly its next generation starship. Speaking of which, let's see how NASA's Artemis program is progressing. After years of development and billions of dollars spent, NASA is finally gearing up to launch its Space Launch System or SLS rocket and Orion crew capsule, which are designed to return astronauts to the moon for the first time since the Apollo mission. The first mission, known as Artemis 1, is scheduled for March or April and would send Orion without any crew on board to orbit around the moon. If all goes well, it would be followed by Artemis 2 in May of 2024, which would again see Orion orbit the moon, but this time with astronauts on board. NASA hopes a crew would be able to land on the moon by 2025, but that would depend on the success of previous flight tests and SpaceX's ability to get its Starship spacecraft up and running. A pair of massive rockets, both more powerful than the Saturn V that flew the Apollo astronauts to the moon, are getting ready to fly in 2022. Together, NASA and SpaceX are realizing this incredible Artemis project of science and lunar exploration that doesn't just stop at the moon, rather preparing humanity for our next giant leap for Mars. And that's all the information we have for you today. If you enjoy what my team and I are doing and would like to continue supporting us in a huge way, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. And don't forget to tell us what you thought about today's content. Everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always improve. And as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX and my team and I will see you next time.